Well, good evening, everyone. I show that we are at 605, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with our presentation this evening. Just a reminder here, please find, please find your mute button. If you can see my laser pointer, I'm circling the mute button here. So find that and mute yourself during the presentation, please. And I want to mention that we definitely will have time for questions. And there's a couple of ways that you can do that. Either hold on to your question until the end of the presentation. And then at the end, we'll, we'll give everybody a chance who's got a question to ask a question. Or there's a chat function. And you can see it here with my laser pointer and it's, it's highlighted blue on your screen there. That's a chat and you can type your question in there. You can do that at any time and we'll just kind of keep up with them, but we're going to answer all the questions at the end of the presentation. So I'm going to go through the full presentation first and then we'll answer the questions at the end. So there you will definitely have time for uh, getting your questions answered. And just a reminder, the presentation will be recorded this evening. All right, there we go. So tonight's meeting is a community meeting for the Museum Way realignment. And we'll be doing some paving, some sidewalk, and some traffic signal improvements. And I want to introduce myself. I am the project manager for the city of Fort Worth for this project. I'm JT Aldrich, and um, I want to welcome you. Thank you for joining us this evening. I uh, also want to note that um, we have seen Council Member Zeta. So thank you, Council Member Zeta, for joining us this evening. We have a handful of other city staff on the phone with us or on the call tonight. Some uh, just supporting, helping me out and answering questions, receiving questions. And we've got uh, the engineering firm that designed this project for the city. They're represented here tonight. And also we've got the construction contractor uh, with us on the phone. So we have, uh, we, we have quite a few people and hopefully we can take care of any, uh, any questions that you all have tonight. So the agenda for tonight, I won't take too much of your time up, but we're going to go through the, we're going to go over the project location just to make sure we're all on the same page where we're talking about. I'm going to talk about the existing conditions briefly. I will talk about, uh, describe the project that the proposed improvements that we have coming. And I will mention the construction schedule, then we'll have time for questions. So the project location, this is just a large zoomed out picture of Fort Worth. And you can see, of course, we're just west of Fort Worth along West 7th Street near Trinity Park and the Trinity River there. And this shot is just a zoomed in picture. Again, I'm, I would assume everyone's probably very familiar with the area, but you can see the project location is kind of highlighted by this red shaded box here. They've got Trinity Park on the southeast corner. You have uh, the retail and restaurant district on the southwest corner. You've got a Tom Thumb on the northwest corner. And then, of course, the Hop Dotty Burger Place on the northeast corner. So this is just an existing photo from taken from Staten Street, uh, from Museum Way, excuse me, from Museum Way. Um, about where the entrance to the park is, and it's looking toward the north. And this is just another shot from the north side, from Staten Street, looking toward the, uh, the southwest there. And the main purpose for this project is because this st two streets, Museum Way and Staten Street, are offset from one another. And the main purpose is to realign Museum Way to line up with Staten Street on the north side of West 7th. And by doing this, we will be able to decrease the delays experienced by traffic, particularly vehicles at this intersection, 
And also this will improve safety for drivers and for pedestrians by realigning the street because it will give drivers and pedestrians a, a more of what they expect, right? So it's the idea is it'll improve their expectations and, and it's what people expect to see. So that makes things safer. So this is a view of the project and I hope you can follow my laser pointer. I'm gonna use it as I talk about some of the proposed improvements that we're planning to make with this project. So you can see here the paving, the new paving for the proposed museum way. And so uh, I guess you can tell in this photo, north would be to your left. So this is Staten Street to the north. And you've got West 7th Street running up and down here, right, east and west. So museum way is gonna be realigned out into just the corner of the park here. And then it's going to tie back in right about in front of the park driveway. So we're going to provide uh, this new paving here. It'll be concrete paving. And along with this concrete paving, you'll see right here this area that I'm circling, we've provided for a turnout. So this will be a drop off and a pickup area for these, uh, these restaurants right here, right? This retail area where cars can pull over and get out of the main lanes of traffic to pick up and drop off people. So I think that'll really help the traffic a lot. And we're also going to provide these this red lines that look kind of like bricks. Those red lines that look kind of like bricks, these are going to be the new sidewalks and we're going to, we're going to reuse the, the existing pavers that are along the streets out there along the sidewalks, the brick pavers, we're going to reuse those in the sidewalk areas. So we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna line Museum Way with, with these brick pavers. Um, of course, we're going to uh, install the, the traffic signal here, right? We'll have to straighten that up so that the, the traffic signal lights line up with the new lanes of, pay, of traffic. We'll also be installing some illumination, so some pedestrian poles. They'll look just like the ones that are out there existing today. We'll be putting them over here on the park side. So I believe we're putting in four or five new illumination poles along this, the park side of Museum Way. Uh, of course, the project will, of course, have striping and uh, signs. Um, one of the, of the features of the project is that this area here that you'll see that I'm circling with my laser pointer and it's highlighted in green. This will be, I'm going to call this the abandoned area, right? So this is where the street currently is. We're going to abandon that area when we move the street over. And in this abandoned area, for right now, we are going to plant grass, but we're going to also install irrigation. And we're going to put in some, some boulders along the, uh, the edge behind the sidewalk. We're going to put in some, some nice looking boulders. And then we're also going to, uh, well, I should have mentioned this, we're going to have to remove five trees that are here along this side of Museum Way. So along with the removal of those five trees, we're going to plant five new trees right along around the parking lot for the park area. So we'll be planting these five new trees in that area. So you'll see some some again some irrigation lines that we'll be putting in out there and uh, and sodding it of course returning it to uh, a nice sodded condition so during construction i do want to mention a few things we will maintain access to the restaurants here the uh, chewies and faux district we will will remain uh, access will remain to those um, so we will keep those that sidewalk open there at, throughout construction. And we will maintain pedestrians along West 7th Street. And we're going to do that by, we're going to have the pedestrians are going to use the edge of West 7th Street actually to cross east and west to get over right to the park side and to cross. And they'll be on the edge of the pavement and we'll protect the pedestrians with a concrete traffic barrier between the pedestrians and the vehicles for safety. Another thing that I do want to mention during construction 
is that, as you can see, the entrance to this entrance to the park will be closed for a period during construction, uh, obviously because the pavement in the street will be being uh, reconstructed right in front of the entrance to the park. So there will be a period of time where the entrance to the park will be closed. Of course, you know, you can access the, the park in this parking area from uh, further south in the park. And another thing that we're going to do during construction is in order to be able to construct, particularly this tie-in right here back to the existing street, we are going to have to put some narrow travel lanes along Museum Way so that we can build half of the street and put half of, or keep the traffic open on the other half of the street. So there are going to be some pretty narrow lanes during construction so that we can build half of the street and then we'll move traffic over to the new pavement it will be on the new half of the street while we construct the other half of the street. Right, so during both construction phases, there will be some narrow lanes there along Museum Way. So I just want to point that out to everybody just to, to keep that in mind and to, of course, be careful and cautious as you're driving through the area. Um, we certainly want our construction workers to go home safe every evening. And so we really appreciate you uh, helping us out with that. So those are the primary features. I may have forgotten something. It's certainly possible. Um, you can ask a question about it. Well, I, I just remembered something. So there currently is a, a bus stop on this, uh, on the eastbound lanes of West 7th. And we're going to move temporarily, we're going to move that bus stop to the east. So the bus stop, you can't really see it here, but it's going to be moved up to the east. So there will be a few parking spaces that, that we'll have to close to allow space for the bus stop to remain operating there. And another thing that you might have noticed recently is there's a bicycle station at this corner. And we have recently relocated the bicycle station further to the east. It's still along West 7th Street, right behind the curb. But we've gone ahead and relocated that temporarily. And so that is in anticipation of this project starting up. So this slide right here is basically everything I just told you, except it's just in words. So I'm not going to go in the, in the same amount of detail here, um, but I just want to I just want to kind of reiterate the project will include new concrete pavement and with a pickup and a drop off area. We are going to reuse the existing sidewalk pavers for the new sidewalk improvements that we're going to make. We'll be installing a new traffic signal. We'll put in some illumination, light poles, new, uh, of course, pavement markings and signs, and some landscaping improvements there in the area that we're abandoning, some boulders, and some new trees that we're going to plant. So with that, of course, comes our construction schedule. So the city has awarded the contract to uh, 2L Construction, LLC. And so they will be starting construction on the project in December. So in about a, about a month, a little over a month, in December they're going to start. And the construction should take about four months. That's what we're anticipating. So we should be finished with construction in April of 2021. And that basically covers everything that I was going to cover tonight. And as I promised, we want to give time for questions and answers. And this is this slide here has my information on it. So uh, I do want you to know that there's my email address and my phone number. And you know, you are welcome to call me. Uh, or email me if you have questions further later on down the road, if you have a concern about something that you see. Um, we, we really appreciate that. Um, a lot of times you as, as the public, or those of you who live and work and uh, play in this area, you see things, you're there day in and day out, and you see things sometimes 
uh, from all, all, always really from a different perspective so than we do. And so we always appreciate questions or, or even concerns or uh, anything like that as the project moves along. So with that, let's see what questions we have. Um, I haven't seen any, I don't see any questions in the chat yet. Well, here we go. About the narrow lanes during construction, is there a plan for emergency vehicles such as fire trucks to reach the state and beyond? So uh, the, the fire truck will certainly be able to to pass through the narrow lanes. I mean, they won't be they won't be too narrow uh, for a, for say emergency vehicles. At the same time, uh, there is always uh, you know the alternate route. That I'm sure you're all familiar with. Of course, it is through Matisse Drive. So uh, it does take you through kind of through the retail area, um, but that that's always an alternate route. To uh, you know, to get back around to maybe avoid this construction area. Okay, how much will this project cost? I see that question. So the, the cost for the construction of this project is uh, right about seven hundred or seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I don't know. I can't not remember the exact number, but it's in that in that ballpark. Seven hundred seven hundred fifty thousand. Okay, when will the entrance to the park be closed? Um, I, I suspect the entrance to the park, I don't have a great answer for you. I don't think it'll be closed right off the bat. Uh, it won't be closed right at the 1st of December, but, uh, but there, will, there will come a point in time when the contractor will need to, uh, again, to work in that area right in front of the driveway. And I, I just, I don't have an exact specific time for you, but you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be during the first half of the work. So uh, probably at some point in December, it may be closed and then, it, and it may last for um, a month, maybe even, uh, you know, six or eight weeks, it might be. So, um, hey, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, is the contractor in attendance? Chip? He was here. Yes, I'm here. Maybe he can uh, elaborate on closing the park driveway. Chip, do you have any idea? I mean, an estimate? Estimate, you're probably looking at a at about two weeks in. Um, the way we're phasing the project to leave the existing roadway open, we're going to be working on the east side of the roadway, getting as much done as we can before we um, switch to going to narrower lanes. Um, so this is an area that we can work in without having to hinder any kind of traffic. So it will be towards towards the beginning of the project. And it'll last how long? It'll, uh, the the cl closure of the park entrance will last the duration of the project once it's closed down. Just because okay. of the narrow lanes, we don't want people trying to uh, turn in there, enter, exit with the narrow lanes, with other traffic around. It's just... Uh, it's safer for everyone to just keep it closed, detour the traffic, the park traffic to the uh, entrance further south. Okay. Thank you, Chip. All right. I see a, okay, so I want to keep going. I see another question. Uh, can you repeat when it will start and how long it will take to finish? Yes, we are planning to start work in December, and and I think early December, so before Christmas, we'll start work, and we anticipate completing by April, so by April of 2021. So it should take about four to five months. 
And let's see. Next question is, is this being paid for by taxpayers? Yes, this is a project that is being funded by the 2018 bond program. So the city's 2018 bond funding is funding this project. Uh, will there be any art project connected to this construction? So there has been some talk of art projects uh, or an art project in the abandoned area. But with this specific project at this time, anyway, currently, no, there's there's no artwork planned to go in with this project. Uh, but again, I've I've heard you know, discussions about it, so it doesn't mean it's out of the question uh, later down the road. But it's, there's nothing associated with, with this current project. There's no art project currently. And. Oh, tough one. Why was this not considered before Tom Thumb and other retailers built their buildings? Seems like this could have been avoided with proper planning. I cannot answer that. Um, we are taking care of that now, though. Yeah. Now, if there's anyone who doesn't have access to the chat feature, so you've called in from your phone, your cell phone or, or home phone, um, you're, you're welcome to unmute yourself now and go ahead and just ask your question. Uh, will you be sharing your PowerPoint with Melissa Dunn? Uh, yes, I can certainly share. I mean, certainly the uh, oh, she's a president. Okay, so uh, again, the the whole the entire presentation is being recorded, and uh, I'm sure that the recording will be available if you actually wanted to watch and listen to it. But yes, we'll definitely share the PowerPoint slides. Well, while we wait for maybe a few more comments, um, yeah, we're very grateful to everybody attending. I, I got to give it to JT. You heard a little bit bit of background in the, I mean, noise in the background. Uh, JT is calling from his truck, as I understand. So that's uh, we got to give him kudos for making it to the meeting and make and doing the presentation from his truck. So big round of applause for JT. <laughs> He is, however, safely parked. He's not driving. Yes, I assume that part. <laughs> That's correct. Did I see someone with a, a hand raised? 
Yeah, that was me. I already asked my question in the chat. Okay. But I do have another question. Are any utilities going to have to be removed uh, moved for this project or any type of water um, supply disrupted? No, there, uh, there's no utility work with this project. So no water, no sewer work going on with this project. Okay, thank you. Sure. I don't think there are any more questions, JT, so we can go ahead and thank the public for the attendance this evening. And I, like you said, it's going to be sharing the presentation. So thank you very much for your attendance and have a good evening. Thank you.